Coach, if you just start an opening statement, please. Yeah, I thought tonight's game very similar in a lot of ways to uh, last night's game, other than, uh, you know, we got the lead. Um, you know, we found a way to, to uh, get ahead in the second period and, and go into the locker room with a one-goal lead. Um, you know, we had to kill a little bit of a penalty, 30 seconds. For the most part, we did a good job, but, you know, they get a seeing eye wrist shot, and, and it goes in. And we did, you know, we didn't get any puck luck this weekend. And, um, you know, what can you say? I mean, just really disappointed in, in the result. Um, I give Alaska Anchorage a lot of credit. They came in here and they worked hard. They really worked hard. And, you know, when you, when you score, you get some momentum. And I thought they got a lot of momentum off that goal in the third period. And, and you can see it. And we got away from our game a little bit. But, you know, they were coming. So overall disappointed in the weekend. Um, we're just going to have to get back to work. And, and you know, we got a lot of hockey left. So, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, this won't define our season this weekend. But we've got to learn from it. We've got to learn from it. We have to play with more urgency. Uh, be better with the puck, especially in our zone. How disconcerting is it to have your the first half of your home season end this way? Well, very disappointing. You know, as far as concerning, yeah. You know, we, we sat out a couple of pretty good players tonight, and you know, there's a couple more that really struggled tonight. You know, whether whether they just we just weren't with it this weekend. You could just tell. Part of it was them, but part of it was us too. We just didn't seem to have the ed energy, urgency desperation, all those things you need, uh, you know, whether we overlook them, um, you know, there's a lot of things. And I'll take some of the blame for that. You know, maybe I didn't prepare our team to, to realize how tough these games were going to be. Talk about playing Winchester tonight because it's something you haven't yeah. done yet this year. So what went through your mind in deciding to play him and, and what did you think of his performance? Yeah, I thought Matt played well. You know, he gave us a chance in the game. He had to make some big saves early and a few flurries where he did an outstanding job. So. Um, but the decision to play him, I thought a little bit about playing him last night. And just, you know, Jamie's played a lot. Uh, that tough trip uh, up to Alaska, that 10-day trip, I mean, he looked tired in practice. And, you know, I thought it was a good time to give Matt a, a chance. Matt's worked very hard, as has Devin Carroll, all, uh, all season in net and practice. And I just thought this would spark our team. I was looking for a spark from our team. I thought we got it for the most part, but we didn't get the result. Did you think about pulling him during that power play at the end? I did and I didn't. You know, we had good puck control and then we didn't. So it, it's almost better we didn't uh, pull him at that point. But uh, we had a couple good looks, but we just didn't have quite, you know, we didn't have the control that we wanted to get him out. So if we would have had better control, I would have pulled him earlier. You put Brett Boeing in. He picks up his first career goal and yeah. another assist. I mean, here's a kid that you've been waiting for something to happen with him. And yeah. Finally tonight, he gets a couple points for you. Yeah, there's some positives in the, in the night, It's in the weekend. And it's not totally lost. When you look at it, it's, it's like I said, it's disappointing. He didn't get the points. It's the first weekend we did not get points uh, in a series. Um, but, yeah, we've had some good performances. Brett Bowen was one of them. It's good to see him come in and, and play and not only get points but play well. You broke up the Neville, Gould, and Patan line for the first and second period, brought them back together in the third do you need more out of that group right now than what you're getting? Well, we need a lot out of a lot of guys that right now that we're not getting. And it's not just points. It, it's just effort, uh, just playing with some desperation, playing the right way, playing on the right side of the puck. Um, you know, like I said, we've got to be careful. It's, it's one weekend. There are a lot of things maybe we didn't do. Part of that is uh, Anchorage. Part of it might be the trip, the long travel. Um, but we've got to get back to work on Monday. We've got, we've got some good players in that locker, and we've just got to get on the same page and understand what works and doesn't what work. You took Chris out of the lineup. You put yeah. Jimmy in. What did you think of Jimmy's performance? I thought Jimmy had a he heck of a game. You know, I thought he played solid, dependable, uh, nice play on the goal, obviously. So um, he didn't get in much trouble tonight, which is good. But, uh, you know, he's a good player, you know, and it's nice to be able to have a guy like him to, pl you know, plug him in and, and he's going to do a good job and you know you can rely on him. He's back for his fifth year. Um, yeah. It's got to be just very reassuring to know you've got a kid like him that you can put in there at any time. He's played, what, five games for you now, almost as many as he's played in his whole career before this. Yeah. But, I mean, he's really been solid for you back there, hasn't he? He has, and he's going to play a lot more. You know, we, we've got to get him in because we have some guys struggling. We have some guys really struggling right now. And, um, you know, maybe it's been a long half, first half. We haven't had any breaks in the schedule. We played every weekend. So uh, I don't know if we're wearing out a little bit. And it could be. could be because, you know, it's late in the first half, the travel. Um, might have caught up to us this weekend. So, but you know, we've got to play better. I, you know, we had chances to score. We we got to bury those. You know, we have chances to get the puck out. We got to make sure we get it out. So, uh, like I said, there's a lot of things going on. But we've got to regroup and, and get ready for the last two games of the first half. Ike has been such a big part of what you've been able to do um, on both sides of the puck this year. 
he takes that penalty at the end of the second period. Yeah. Are you concerned about that penalty at all? Or, or is that just one of those, that, you know, it's a hockey play? <sighs> no, it's a hockey play. He, he's just trying to get to a loose puck there. And, you know, sometimes you, 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 know, you see a lot of that going on in the game, the little slash on the stick. And unfortunately, their guy lost his stick. And the referee has to call that. But uh, so he's just, just trying to make a play there. It was obviously a big turn of events because it could be 3-1 at that point. Um, but, you know, that, that's not what won us or lost the game. You put Jake Jackson in the lineup tonight. It's the first time he's played since yeah. his injury. What did you think of the way he played? He tonight? looked a little rusty. He's got to make sure that, uh, you know, he gets involved a little bit more, plays with two hands on a stick, some things. But it's good to get him back in. I, I didn't expect him to be in, in midseason form at this point. But we've got to get in, in, in some games. And we've got to get Dylan Stamen back in, in some games. So, um, you know, but I thought Jake was okay tonight. How do you bounce back from this getting ready for uh, Lake State next weekend? Well, we have to. We don't have a choice. So uh, we'll be ready to go on Monday, and we've got good leadership on this team. And like I said, we've got a good team, so they're going to have to rally around each other. And, um, you know, we've got to make some adjustments as coaches and, and make sure we're ready for, uh, you know, for our last two games of the first half. Are you happy to know you're going back on the road where you've been a little bit better than at home at this point? Well, maybe. We haven't played that well on the road. And like, like I said, this, a, this was a tough weekend for a lot of reasons, but it's behind us now, and, and we've been good on the road. And I like that. Less distractions. Um, you know, we should – obviously feel we don't want any travel legs or anything like that to worry about so we'll be ready to go next weekend thank you